If you're tired of feeling like there's not enough hours in the day, waking up earlier is not the solution. Here's three things you need to do to create more time in your day. So the first thing to start doing is set clear priorities. How do you know where to be spending your time if you don't have a clear vision and clear goals? And in the absence of having clear goals and a clear vision, we keep doing the same thing with our time over and over and over again, and you'll stay in this pattern of not having enough time. Having clearly defined goals, a clear vision of where you're headed will start to inform what actions in your day are time wasters and which ones are great time investors. So start with having a clear vision, a clear goal of where you're going. The second key is to start noticing what you're in fact doing with your time where you're spending your time, where you feel like you're wasting time. Notice where you're procrastinating. Procrastination is one of the ways that our paradigm or our minds try to sabotage us. If you've heard of the fight, flight, or freeze, where we go into fear, where we're about to leave our comfort zone, procrastination is a form of freeze. It's delaying us from doing the thing that's actually going to move us forward. So as you begin to notice where you're spending your time, where you're procrastinating, where you're feeling like you're wasting your time, reframe that to know that that is simply your mind arguing for your comfort zone. It doesn't want you to grow. It wants you to stay comfortable. So it will try to get you to procrastinate, to delay, to waste time. And the way to override that, again, goes back to number one, having that clear vision, having those goals. And so what that will do is it'll help you when you want to procrastinate, when you want to delay, when you want to waste time, know that every time you stop that procrastination and you take an action that's actually investing in your vision, your growth has won, your vision has won, and time will start to open up for you. The third thing to do to create more time and stop wasting more time is to create those habits that are going to support you in reaching your goal. It can be this temptation to feel like I've got to change everything at once. And so if you've got a health goal and all of a sudden you feel like you've got to eat clean and you got to move for 30 minutes a day and you have to start taking those supplements, we try to change too much at one time which typically isn't sustainable. As you start to really map out what are the small behaviors that I can change today, think in terms of five minutes, think in terms of little wins that you can start to incorporate right now. And as you do that, as you make those little changes and really map out those small habits, it will build this momentum. To support you in creating new habits that are going to expand time for you, we've created a habit scorecard for you. We know that when we take score, when we track ourselves, when we're holding ourselves accountable, we produce greater results. We've created this habit scorecard for you to download, to start implementing those little habits today that are going to produce great big results. So download that habit scorecard today to support you in living a life you love.